hello everyone so in previous video we have seen like how actually we can carry a csv data using a serverless sql pool in this video we are going to see if you have a json file and that json file you want to query you want to query using a serverless sql pool how actually you can do that that actually we are going to see in this particular video so i have this particular json file one of the json file which is available now to query what actually we were using we were using a open row set right in this open row set we were mentioning the what is the json file path and after that the format we were mentioning that's how actually we were mentioning in a csv right in a json also we had to mention the same you had to use a select top 10 star and after that open row set you had to mention you had to mention the file path the but format still you had to mention the csv because this open row set this open row set open row set has been built to read the data which is available in a adls location like to read the csv file but for the specific json right json it it can't directly read the json so what does actually it do it, it with the help of this field terminator right actually with the help of this condition it tried to convert this json into a csv and it tried to read so for us what actually we have to mention we have to still mention the format as a csv we have to mention the field terminator and the field code and we have to query let's do a practical let's understand so i open my azure synapse what i will do i'll go to the data in the data we have a data lake storage and we have one of the container so we already uploaded the csv file right now what actually we'll do we'll try to upload a one json file so i will open that so i have created one covid.json file this is the file i have created try to upload this and if i show you this looks like this this is the data we have now this actually we want to read so what actually i will do i have open this now what i will do i will create one sql script if you want to query right what you have to do you have to right click you can see new sql script so select select top 100 rows it will directly give you the sql script so you can see it already know like this is a json so it given you the json script so what actually it is saying select top 100 json contain and what actually it is saying we are using open row set so that we can uh, use we can query in our adls directly bulk it is saying the what is the file path so file path we have to mention how we'll get the file path so for that you have to go into the data so in a covid property this is the url right this is nothing but a file path file path so that you have to do come to the sql script bulk you have to mention that format still we have to mention csv even though it is a json because json directly it doesn't support open row set so that's why csv we have to mention to read the json we have to use this field code the field term data so that we can use the json file so this script directly it will be generated it will give you auto generated code now let's try to execute once we'll execute right it is giving some error let's try to run again now it is giving properly now here you can see we have a one json content which we are reading right now if you want to read the specific column so how actually we can uh, read the specific column so for that what you have to use you have to use like this json value comma json value suppose you want to read this date represent right so dollar dot date rep you have to mention similarly any other column you have to mention right this json value you have to use and you have to use that comma suppose you want to read any other column so suppose uh, this year i want to read so i'll use a dollar dot year as header now if i'll run you can see json contained gave me the whole json it is able to read and for the specific column you want to read right like this with the help of the json value we can read that like json value you have to convert into the proper json so for that you have to use a json value from this json content dollar dot specific column you have to mention and from there you can uh, read the specific column so that's how we had to read the json it's little bit tricky but you have to practice this 
so i will copy this code and i will give you also i hope you got that